Now, if you are planning a trip to escape the snow, be aware of a new travel advisory for one of Mexico's hotspots. The State Department issued a warning for Cancun, where tourists are getting caught in the middle of a dispute between taxi and Uber drivers. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian connected with a Michigander who's south of the border. The owner of Cadillac Travel says that Cancun is still a very popular destination for Metro Detroiters who are trying to get away from the cold and the snow. Most of his clients who've taken the trip over there have had no issues, but he says travelers should still take this advisory very seriously. Would you ever take an Uber in Mexico? No, no. When the State Department issued a travel advisory for Cancun, Keith Powers was already well into his vacation. He says 7 Action News was actually the first to bring it to his attention. They didn't want to let it out. Uh, it, it was a serious problem for a couple of days. And just yesterday, uh, it seems like they finalized everything and there were some arrests made. According to the U.S. State Department, local taxi drivers are upset over a recent court ruling that officially made Uber legal in Cancun. Officials said, quote, past disputes between these services and local taxi unions have occasionally turned violent, resulting in injuries to U.S. citizens in some instances. Are you telling clients don't go here? No, what we do is we research and see what's going on. David Fishman owns Cadillac Travel. He says dozens of clients have taken trips to Cancun with no problem. Although one couple who returned home recently did have a long taxi ride to the airport because their driver had to break traffic laws to avoid blocks. And they made their flight and got home safely, but they didn't feel unsafe and they didn't see any demonstration. They just saw them blocking the road. Powers is headed back to Detroit Friday morning. He says his hotel is making sure his ride to the airport is smooth. They're taking photos of the driver, uh, the license plate, uh, before you even get into the vehicle. So they are, they are taking some more extreme measures here. Is it some place that you'd say you would recommend for someone to go to um, based on your experience? Yeah, overall, uh, very safe. You can always work with resorts, hotels, and travel agencies to pre-plan all of your transportation. Fishman says if you are in a pinch, he does suggest taking a taxi over an Uber. In Royal Oak, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. Certainly.